Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. First of all, I have to apologize to Stan Lee. Uh, so I, I read a terrible comic this morning, uh, X23, and I crumbled it, forgetting that there's a Stan Lee tribute. So a bunch of people saw me literally crumble uh, Stan Lee's face. Stan Lee's a, a great guy. Uh, I miss him a lot. So uh, anyway, had a good day at the printers. Um, uh, I, I got to see uh, like a a big printout of the cover like you know uh, uh, what do you call it a test print it looks great um it, the book was scheduled to get printed next week but they were saying that it looks like they're going to be able to um fit it into some holes in the schedule i believe today and tomorrow so i'm signing what i'm doing is i'm signing now this is a comic book not a graphic novel but i'm signing twelve thousand pieces of paper the book's going to be printed and then it's going to be like slid and like, you know, affixed in there. So when you open it, it'll uh, be the signature. And the signature is big. Uh, the signature is big for a couple reasons. Um, uh, number one, uh, it's actually easier to do. <laughs> I have to I have to figure out all the ergonomics and it's easier to do like my name really big than really small. And uh, I'm, I have a really loose grip on the pen. Um, and uh, but I it hurt like so I've been signing all of today and uh, and I'm gonna be doing signing until I go to sleep uh, my my wrist is fine my elbow is fine but my back is killing me um, so it must have been the chair or anything but anyway um, I'll be just uh, signing all week but anyway this is I did a uh, spider-man book yesterday and it was thoroughly mediocre and yet I was like it's pretty good check it out and then I got blasted they're like dude not being terrible is not a recommendation. It's like, you know what, you're right. Uh, so I read this in that regard, and I have to say, not being terrible is not a recommendation. <laughs> like, I actually uh, gave a fairly glowing <laughs> recommendation for issue one, which was thoroughly me mediocre. And this one's even worse. I just gotta say, like, especially, I had some issues with mainly the end of the Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Uh, what do you call it um animated movie but gee Josephat, like it's so embarrassing like this book le reads like absolute lazy trash after seeing that movie which is probably a pretty fair assessment so we got this scintillating cover that's like oh my god like things <laughs> In my life? <laughs> Am I right? I'm um, like money and love and books and like LOL. Like, this is nothing. This is a portfolio piece. Stop it. And then you're gonna. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, uh, but then we get in talking. Talking and talking and talking and talking. They're still talking, 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 talking. Everyone's just talking and talking and talk talk talking and talk yeah this is just sucks it sucks it sucks <laughs> you got beat <laughs> it's really bad uh by a movie and you can't live up to it and uh you guys need to raise your standards and i need to raise uh my standards <laughs> it's, 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 this is too short for a video uh, something, something. Uh, Solidity Nakamata likes to do villains that are actually really nice and nobody understands them. He did that with Crusher Creel in Black Bolt. Uh, besides this, this is just the uninteresting, boring Gordon Goodbrother, Miles Morales. I, I don't even think I'm going to be able to five minutes on this damn video. It's the standard. Super boring, super bland Miles Morales that's existed in the comics for 10 years. I think it's a, 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 some minor issues with the movie, but see the movie. I know the movie, this was written a couple months ago. Once you saw the movie, draw Miles like he looks in the movie and have him act like that. He was actually interesting and fun. This is just boring, boring. Very, 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 very. Oh, oh. I remember what I was gonna talk about. Oh yeah. So spoiler, the villain is Tombstone. And if you have ever read, uh, first of all, Tombstone is a big deal to me um, because he was he was actually. I don't talk about this run a lot, 
Um, it was, uh, but you saw it. You saw it in the thumbnail for the video. But it was spectacular Spider-Man. This, uh, you know, uh, white background. I've, I've talked about how white backgrounds really make things pop out it, instead of just being a bunch of mush. Um, but it was Tombstone, who was pretty new back then, and it was just like the best storyline. Beforehand, I had only re really read like G.I. Joe and Transformers and Star Wars and just toy stuff. And then when I was too old for toys, I kind of dipped out for a couple years until I had an art teacher who said, oh, you draw kind of like a comic book style. So I went to whatever B. Dalton <laughs> bookseller and uh, I flipped through them. Now, Todd McFarlane was on the stands that time, but I thought his stuff was a little too crazy. <laughs> so I picked up the Sal um, Spectacular Spider-Man and Tombstone was so cool. Tombstone was like, he was like one of the first villains that you were scared of. Yes, this guy in his original. <laughs> look, at, look at him. Look at him. He's like a nerd. He looks like Steve Urkel. Uh, for the people who don't know, um, Tombstone is actually, uh, he's black. I, I know he's, a, he's albino black, albino African-American. Um, but he was just, they had this really, really cool story with Robbie Robertson. And it was, it was about bravery. It was about bravery and cowardice and and uh tombstone had basically been just putting robbie in in utter fear his whole life and was blackmailing him it's really really great story now i think they've changed tombstone's powers a couple times back then he was just really really tough i think he had some super strength but he wasn't like lifting cars over his head he was just that guy who would go toe to toe with anyone and the way that sal basima drew him he was like, Tombstone was like the OG Reservoir Dog, like six years before Reservoir Dogs, like, I don't know, like 1988 or so. Um, geez, only like four years. A lot of cool stuff happened in those years. So <laughs> to, have, to have bring him back looking like this is like, and he gets in a fight. God, look at this. Look at this. Bop. No, oh, he bopped you on the head. I, I, <laughs> I'd say step up your game, but almost anything is stepping up your game, Marvel. Like, just quit. Just freaking, just walk out. Somebody will walk in. Somebody will walk in off the street and do your job better than you. I'm not talking about a comic pro or wannabe comic pro. I'm talking about Joe Schmo walking through Midtown Manhattan. <laughs> hey, the weirdest thing happened. Marvel Comics, all the people who worked there, they walked out. <laughs> and there's a guy, he says, if you walk in, you can write whatever you want. I'm going to write Spider-Man. I'm going to write that, uh, that, that kid Spider-Man. I took my kids to the movie. That black kid, you know, he's, he, there's two Spider-Mans now. He's pretty cool. He reminds me, he reminds me of my, uh, my nephew. I'm going to write him like that. Hey, I, I used to read uh, I used to read those books back in the day. You remember Tombstone, the black suit? Yeah, I'm gonna make him the villain, like the average guy walking down the street in Midtown Manhattan <laughs> could write better than this. Uh, it's just embarrassing. Embarrassing. I'm worried. I'm spending all my time flying across the country and worrying about like the tiniest little pixel on the edge that, that goes beyond the edge. I'm worrying about stuff that's that's going to get cut off by the cutter. You guys don't even worry about the stuff that makes it into the comic. Whatever. Oh, sorry, Stan. I'm sorry. Respect. And, and then we'll just crumble every, every other thing behind Stanley. Oh, it's so stupid. I like how kink it is. <laughs> they look like they're like 37 year old. Oh, yeah, that, that's that that yeah, that's definitely the body language of a of a cool, interesting hero. It's gonna crumble. It's gonna crumble. Uh, oh, I can't show everything. It's a copyright. It's a copyright crumble. But uh, <laughs> let's just finish on this trash. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks, everyone. Give it to the, the, the Patreon, uh, the Indiegogo, uh, and the uh, GoFundMe. And I will have more 
comic book reviews. Oh, tomorrow is going to be good. Squirrel Girl and Tom King and Mitch Heads on Batman. <laughs> Queen. And I'm finishing up that, uh, uh, what do you call it? What? I'm finishing up the uh, Sandman trade paper book. It collects like the first uh, seven or eight issues. And I'll do that one Wednesday morning before I'm going to the comic book shop. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.